All right. Hey, gang. So this is an average of Ashtanga, which I think most of you guys have done at least a bit before, and uh, certainly with me. So we shall get started. We're going to do a little bit of wrist warm up first, um, and then we'll we'll dive into the practice. So coming onto our knees with our toes tucked, and we slightly out. We're going to bring our hands in. So the pinkies are maybe just about touching. And you need to stay here in the toes. Can you hear? It's all good. And then you can sit back onto the heels a little bit. And even start to rounding into the upper back, pushing the heels of the hands down to get even more of an intense stretch here. Maybe ever so slightly from side to side, we can rock a little bit. And then we can slightly come forwards, lifting up our butts, and then trying to lift up the fingers. And then press into the hands, trying to lift them, lift them up. So I've been down here before, we're now lifting up. All the way back down, making it a fist, sliding the hand down, a little compression. Um, bring the wrist towards you. And then again, create some circles. Bring it in, stretching it out, in and out, and then a little shake. On the other side, make our fist, slide the hand down, pull it towards you, make it some little circles and this little compression. And then the other way, back towards you, open the fingers, close. Open, close, open. Give our wrist a little shake. And come to the top of our mats. Face this way. Come to the top of our mats. Are we going to get it together? Or they can be hip width apart. Whatever feels better for you, feels more right. Rolling our shoulders back, engaging the kneecaps, lifting our kneecaps up. We can bring our hands to our hips. And if you feel like you tend to let your butt stick out a little bit, just try and bring it so it's a bit more in line. It doesn't need to be pulled right in, but just so we're a bit more in line with the shoulders and the feet. Bring our hands to our side and close our eyes for a moment so we can rock. Maybe back and forth, maybe a little bit side to side as we find the grounding into the corners of the feet. And when you feel like you've found that grounding, and you can lift all your toes up, and then press your big toes down. Relax your little toes, those four little toes. Do it one more time, lifting our toes up. And you might feel like you slowly change your position, find where that balance is. Engage your knees, let engage your lower butt. Shoulders back, arms extend, press down the big toe, engage the inner arch of the foot, and press the little toe. I'm going to start using our Ujjayi breath. So Ashtanga uses the Tristana method, and the Tristana method is so three things. It's it's the breath, it's our Ujjayi breath, it's the bandhas, and it's the gaze, it's the drishti. So those are the three things that are going to help us to keep our focus throughout the whole practice. So we're going to start with the Ujjayi breath. So that's like uh, our fire breath, like we're being a dragon. Or you can pretend you're a little kid and you're on a bus, you want to steam up the window just in front of you. So it's like... You can trap the throat on the exhale. You can keep this going with the mouth closed as well. I'm going to keep on trying to keep this breath going throughout the whole practice. If you feel like you're getting too hot, 
Stop for a while, come back to your normal in and out breathing, but try and keep breathing in and out through the nose if you can, unless you're taking a big old recovery breath. That's one part of our Tristana method. Our next part is our bandhas, our core locks, our energy locks. We're going to focus just on the main one today, which is our Uddiyana Bandha, where we're drawing the belly button in towards the spine. So we're creating a strong section here. But again, on our exhales, we're breathing out, we're drawing it in. So we trap all that energy inside us. The third part of our Tristana method is the gaze, the drishti, the focal point for our eye. It's always somewhere to look at Ashtanga. So when we're trying to look for our Samasthiti in the standing pose, the gaze is maybe the tip of the nose, maybe straight ahead of us. Our next inhale, we raise our arms up to the Sky, looking at up to our fingertips, maybe the palms touch, maybe they don't, always good. Exhale to bring your palms back down along your side. Inhale, we reach the arms up. Exhale, palms come down. Inhale, arms up. On our exhale, we bend the knees, forward fold. Look towards the knees, maybe the hands slide down towards the shins, maybe you can reach the mat. We can have a nice bend in the knees, all is good, and look towards them. Straight legs, flat back, maybe the fingertips stay down, maybe they come all the way up onto the shins. We try to lengthen between the sitting bones and the neck. Slide your palms, bend the knees if you need to, step back, high plank, hands between the chest between the hands. And then lowering down first the knees and hugging the elbows in towards our ribs, we hinge forwards and down. Bring the feet, lift it up, upward dog. Push into the heels of the hands, engage the toes, engage the kneecaps and the glutes. Tuck your toes behind you. Ah, so the hips up, back and down, up and back, downward facing dog. You can paddle through the heels, you can pulse through the shoulders. In this downward facing dog. And lift ourselves and sitting bones up and away from us. We hold for five. Gaze is to the toes, the knees, or up to the navel. You can keep a nice bend in the knees. You're feeling very tight. And we can find the right height for this dog, whether it's by stepping the dog a little forward, so if we're feeling tight in the calves, stepping the dog a little back. Feeling tight on the hamstrings. And shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. Two. We're gonna keep that long, slow ujjayi breath on your exhale. We're trying to keep the belly pulled in. Walk, look forwards, bend your knees. Step forwards, top of our mats. Inhale, flat back as before. Exhale. Forward fold, tuck your head slightly. Inhale, coming all the way back up to standing, hands over our heads, look up to the sky. Exhale, hands down, side of the Again, inhale, a little faster, move with the breath. Exhale, bend the knees, slowly go down. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back. High plank. Knees, lower it down. Inhale, straight legs, pulling the hips forwards, shoulder blades back in together. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, we can keep paddling through the heels, the backs of the legs, we can pulse to the chest, or we can be still. Four. Gonna keep that slow, steady breath as we slowly warm up. Three. Two, one, look forwards where you're going, bend your knees, 
Round to the back as you step forwards. Flat back, straight legs, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhaling all the way up, reach your arms up. Exhale, arms down, seven feet to heave. Again, inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, palm the palms, option four, middle hop, lower it down. Inhale, and upward dog. Exhale, tuck the toes or flip them back, downward facing up. We're flipping back, we're trying to pull their belly, trying to pull the, the thighs up so that they effortlessly come back into the downward dog. Three, keep breathing. Two, the sound of the ocean, the sound of Hoyan. One, forwards, bend your knees, step walk, or a little hop, inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, arms down, last one. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plunge, step or hop. Lower it down, knees or all the way down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. In the downward facing dog, this time we're going to warm up the back a little bit more. We're going to go for back bends today. So on your inhale, flat the feet. On the front of the feet, come to your upward dog. Exhale, tuck your toes. Downward dog. Inhale, front of the feet, upward dog, lower the hips. Exhale, hips back and up. Inhale, hips lower, chest up. Exhale, chest back, downward dog. Inhale, three more. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. One more, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, we hold for five. Four, three, rotating the shoulders out and away from our ears, try to push the chest back. Two, one, look forwards, bend your knee. Look where you're going. If you're jumping, bend and hop. Weight into the hands, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arms down, slam the to E. Three Namaskar B. Bend the knees, scoop the arms up. Chair pose, look towards your fingers. When you bring the palms together, Exhale, hands come down, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step or hop, high plank, lower it down, knee first or chaturanga. Inhale, look up, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward between the hands, left heel spins down, rise up, hips forward. Warrior one, rise the breath all the way to the top, hands apart or hands together, look up. Next, exhale, hands come down, step it back, high plank, lower it down. Upward dog, downward facing dog. Left foot, left foot steps forwards. Right heel spins down, 45 degrees. Find the balance, lift up. Look up, the fingers, palms together or apart. Next, exhale, bring the palms down. Bend the left leg through back and come down. Chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing. We stay here for five. To lift the sitting bones up, up, up and away. Four, to push your hands away. Three. Feeling very tight on the shoulders. Option to open the hands ever so slightly to the corners of your mat. 
two. Keep breathing slow and steady. One. Look forwards. Bend into your knees. Step, walk, hop, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees. Weight in the back of the heels as you scoop up into this chair pose. Exhale, hands come down. That is easy to heave. Again, bend the knees. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Look towards the knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hug the palms, step or hop back. Lower down, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, look up. Exhale, downward dog, send it back. Right foot steps forwards, spin the left heel, rise up, inhale. Exhale, hug the palms, step it back, lower it down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left side, left foot steps forward. Spin your right heel. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, set it down. Set it back. Lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing. Stay for five, four, three. Two, one, look forwards, bend your knees, step walk or hop, top of our mats, inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, inhale, all the way up to chair pose, exhale, down to see the heat, one more time, bend the knees, inhale, chair, exhale, forward fold, Inhale, flat back, plant the palms, step or pop it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing, right foot steps forwards, warrior one, ride the breath to the top. Exhale, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog, left foot steps Forwards, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, step it back, lower it down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing, staying for five, four, three, two, one. Forwards, bend your knees, step, walk, or fill hop, inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come bend your knees into chair pose. Exhale, Samasi Tihi. Step your feet so the hip width apart, we're still facing the top of our mats. Hands to our hips. Inhale, lengthen, get long up the spine. Exhale, start to fold. We can bend into the knees so we can grab hold of our toes or we can use our strap, something to hold on so we have a bit more length. And if you were up here, all is good. Inhale and try to lengthen. Exhale, trying to fold a little deeper. We pull our belly in, our ribs get longer, more space to fold. We're holding our toes, we're holding our toes. Our elbows are slightly out. We stay for three, two, relax our head, look towards the tip of your nose. One, inhale, halfway lift. And we've got the option to either stay where we are or we slide the hands under the feet as far as they go. A little massage here to our wrists. And then inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Try and bring the weight forwards. Forwards, forwards as much as you dare without falling over. And again, elbow slightly out. Stay for another four, three, 
two, one. Release your toes. Inhale, all the way up. Reach your arms, step our feet together. Exhale, sound of CVG. Back where we started at the front of our mats. Okay, triangle pose. Inhale, step your right foot out. Nice and wide, three, three and a half feet. Turn your right foot to the back of your mat. Arms up to a T. Shift your right, left hip back a little bit. Reach as far as you can and come to your triangle pose. Maybe we're here, close to the ankle. Maybe we're up here, trying to feel like you're in a toaster. And you're trying to reach as far as you can from one end of it. And if you stick your butt out, it gets burnt. So, don't want to be burnt toast. No, no. And lift up. Lift as high as you can. One straight line from fingertips to fingertips. Holding for another three. Two. One. Soften into the right knee as you come up to the center and switch. Left foot now faces forwards. Right foot's 90 degrees. Shift your right head back a notch. Reach your arms as far as you can and come down. Lengthen, get long. Reach it up to the sky. Stay for five. Try not to dump your weight into the left hand. Lift it up. Four. Three. Two. One. Soften into the knee. Come back up and step it back. Down at CCG. Back where we started. Again. Inhale. Step your right foot out a bit wider. Four feet. Turn your right foot out. Soft foot into the knee so it's stacked above your ankle. Reach your arms. Inhale, reach as far forward as you can. Exhale, pant the thigh or the outside of the foot on a block or on the mat. Option to have your left hand up or frame the ear, look towards your fingers. Five. Four, if you have a block, also help to be on the block. Three. Two. One, press into the feet, lift it up, change direction. Left knee is bent, foot facing towards the front of the mat. Reach as far as you can and to the thigh or to the mat, either on a fist, on a block, or palm down. Scooping the hand up and over. And then spiral the chest up towards the sky. Look towards your right fingers. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, push, and come up. And turning back to the back of the mat, spin your left knee down. Bring your hands to your heart. Going for our twist. And now lengthen, get long, and exhale, hook, left elbow over the right, push the hand, right hand into the left, and look up. Five. Option two, tuck your left toes, and lift the left knee. Four, keep spiraling open in the chest. Three, option to open the arms. And one straight line. Maybe bringing the hand, left right hand to frame the ear. Flip to the fingertips. Two. One. Bring the palms down. Bring the knee down on twist. And then push into your right foot up. And we're pivoting to the back. Pivoting back to the front even. Your left foot's in front. Let's push over at some point. And a length and get long. Right elbow hooks and twists. And this time, we're pressing the left hand into the right to open up and twist a little deeper. Option to open the hands. Option to lift the foot. Lift the knee even, lift the foot. And option to frame the ear with the half arm. 
Now we stay for another four. Three, look up towards your fingers, your left fingers. Two. One. Bring your palms together, bring the knee down. Push, push, push the left foot up to standing. And then back. Down as you need, top of your mat. We'll do two more from standing sequence. Step your right foot out a little wider. Right leg forward, fold hands to your hips. Make sure the toes are either parallel or they can point in a little bit. But not out, now it's not so good. All right, inhale, look up. Belly pulls in and exhale, we fold. Hinging from the hips. Try to help it pivot the hips forwards and down. So we bring the weight in the front of the feet. Hands come down to the mat. Try to align with our toes. Pivot forwards and down. Try to bring the forehead down to the mat. And we stay for five. Gaze the tip of the nose or find a point on your mat. It's going to help you to focus. Three. You can softly bend the knees if you're feeling it a lot in the hamstrings. Two. Try to bring the chest in between the thighs. One. Soften the knees. Lift halfway. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to our hips. Inhale all the way up. Exhale here. Let's go. Two more. Variation C. Inhale. Arms out. Exhale. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Make one big fist so the wrists start together. Inhale. Look up. Pull the belly in. Exhale. Hinge forwards. Tuck the chin to your chest halfway down and let the hands come down above your head to the back of the mat. And rest and relax here. Even if there's sweat getting in your eyes, it's okay. Just give them a little close or give your hand a little shake. And get them to not rest in your eyes. Three. Two. No force, no push. One. Soften the knees. Come all the way up. Inhale. Exhale here. Inhale, hands go to the hips, elbows together. Inhale, look up. Exhale, go down. Start sliding the hands down your shins. Maybe they reach the ankles. Maybe they don't. Maybe they reach the big toes. And we catch hold of them with our peace finger or middle finger. Bring the weight forwards. Pivot the hips and slowly curl down, tucking the chin gently to the head, not at straight. Trying to bring the crown of the head down and cool the elbows out and away. Feeling the shoulder blades pull apart. And relaxing your neck. Let it hang there wherever it is. Same for another three. Remember this Ujjayi breath if it's not getting too hot. Two. One, soften the knees, release the toes, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands to our hips, inhale, all the way up, and exhale, back to the top of our mat, down to see the knees. We're going to go for the pyramid pose, and then we'll go to some balances. So, option A, hold the elbows. Option B, reverse prayer, version of the star, all together. Back, elbows, trying to reach in, trying to touch. Right foot steps back, halfway down our mat. Turn our right foot to face the back of the mat. The left foot is either 45 degrees or it can be more or less parallel. And you can change the width between the two feet and the distance as well. See what feels right. Once your hips are steady, they're definitely looking both forwards. And also lift the chest. Exhale to start to fold forward. And the left get long, pulling the right hip back, the left hip forwards, and then folding over the leg. Five. Options to bring the hands to the mat as well. Here, or on your box. Three. Four. 
One, smooth transition to the other side. Inhale to come up, pivot the feet. Exhale to come down. Of course, if you didn't get there in that first breath, that's okay. Find your point, check your hips. Slowly come down, plenty of time. And we start the count five. Trying to get longer, trying to bring the stomach first to the side. That's the first. Point of contact that we want to reach. You don't just want to curl the head down. Four, three, making no judgments on our bodies or what we can do or what we could do. Two, one, soften the knees, you come up to standing, release the arms and step back, stand the feet. Shake your wrist, especially if you're in this reverse prayer. Maybe give the legs a little shake. When we come to you, we're going to do one balance today. We are hip opening balance. The first one, Jita Pasta Parangrishtasana, our hands are big toe. So, option A, grab into our left foot, reach up the right, pull the knee with your hand, left hand to the hip, flex your foot. Option B, with a sock or a strap, or holding the toe, lift it up. Elbow slightly out, shoulder back, trying to pull the femur, the thigh bone in towards the hips, and we stay. Five. Keep lifting it up. Four. Keep breathing. Face is calm. Breath is chill. Two. One. With either holding the knee, opening it out. Or we hold the toe or the belt. Five. See if you can shift your gaze to the left. Four. If you lose the balance, it's okay. Forgive yourself. Try again. Three. Two. One. Back to the center. Lift it up as high as you can. Let go. Hold it there. Five. Again, don't let yourself go down. Four, lift it up. Three, two, nearly there, don't give up. One, foot so goes down. Little shake, little shake, little shake. Right foot grounds down, left foot comes up, either bent foot, bent knee even, or a straight leg. Try and be as tall as you can. Five, four, Three, no shade if you hold the wall. Two, or a chair, a little balance help. One, open it out to the side. A little wobble is okay, try and recover. If not, whoo, forgive yourself, it's okay. Four, three, whoo, two, nearly there. One, back to the center. Lift as high as you can. Whoop. And let go. Five. This side is my wobbly side. Four. Keep trying. Three. Nearly there. Lift it up. Two. Little shake's okay. The toe has to hold the ground. Okay, back to the top of your mat, we transition to the floor. So, reach your arms up, inhale, we take a thumb salutation to the floor, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, lift it up, exhale, pump the palms, step it back, lower it down, knees, chest, and chin, or full chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale. Downward facing. Remember, downward facing, you have some options. If you have blocks or books, this is where you might need them. Option A, you're jumping forwards or stepping forwards and sitting down. So easy. Everyone can do this option. Option B, with their blocks on the low high 
For the higher height, I don't recommend the highest height. Bend your knees. Look where you're going. Jump. Pop the knees in. And down. Either way, you feel on your mats. So nice, so easy. Find your way back to seated. And wherever you can. When you're jumping through, try and keep the knees hugged in together. Your knees go out wide. How will they get through your hands? Dandasana pose. Feet are together, feet are flexed, hands down by the sides. Push gently, push the hands. Let pull the belly in, tuck your tail, lift up. Gaze, sit with the pose. Five, four, three, time, two, close the time. One. Reach your arms up, inhale, exhale. Start to hinge forward, reaching for the big toes. Again, can't reach the toes. Use your socks, use a scarf, use a belt to bring yourself further down. If you're up here, you can't reach the toes, it's okay. Slowly, slowly. Five, four, Two, every inhale getting longer, every exhale going a little more. One, option to hold the toes, hold the belt, or interlace the fingers behind the feet. Maybe we hold the outside of the feet. Maybe we use the block, go a little deeper. Wherever you are, five, four, three, Two, one, release the feet, coming back up to sit it. Hands behind the shoulders, bend the knees for a reverse, reverse tabletop or straight leg variation. So for bending the knees or putting a full tabletop, lift the hips up, option to drop the head behind you. If you're Feet or legs are extended, trying to spiral the feet into the mat. Spiral the thighs in together and lift the chest up and out. Five, four, you're pushing, you're lifting, three, squeeze the glutes, lift it up, two, nearly there, one, lower it back down, vinyasa time, put the knees in, cross the ankles. Palms come down, shift the weight forward, so lift it up, back to this high plank. Lower it down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. From our downward facing dog, we can come to seated. Again, either we jump forwards and sit down, or step forwards and sit down, or jump this cap up or jog through with either cross legs or straight legs. All right, go Janu Shashasana A. Left leg extends, right foot comes in towards the inner thigh, knees pointing out. There's a big gap between the knee and the floor. Rest your foot, rest your knee even on a block or some books or a cushion, maybe from your bed. Inhale, reach your arms up, get long. Exhale, folding forwards. Not necessarily stress onto the leg, but going straight line forwards. And then bring your hand, maybe reach the shin. Maybe we have our friend the belt. Or maybe we hold the wrist, trying to hold the left wrist with the right hand. That left arm is totally straight. Or straightish, you know, or I will still a little bit of get, a little bit of poking out so that our chest stays open, our heart stays open. And we settle in for five. Gaze the tip of the, the big toe, or if you're very far down, then your gaze is to the third eye. Four, three, two, One, reach your 
toes, inhale, come up to the center, push the feet, right leg extends, left knee comes, left foot comes in, knee goes out. So it's an external rotation on the right hip, on the left hip, and now the internal rotation on the right. So reach your arms up, inhale, exhale, we pull, pull the belly in as you reach forward, bring the thigh, the ribs over the knee. Imagine it goes that far, like you're a sandwich, and you've got to just pull this bread over. Here we are. Five. Four. Three. Gaze the big toe or third eye. Try and keep the neck long and straight. You reach back and you can feel these like crinkles, the wrinkles, the flesh. Your neck is not straight. Two. One, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, back to the center. Option two, vinyasa or seated cat and cow. For a seated cat and cow, just cross your ankles. Inhale, knees wide, chest open, look up. Exhale, curl the back, knees together, look down. Very easy. Inhaling, exhaling. One more inhale. Exhale. All right, Marachyasana eight. Legs extended in our seated position. Right foot comes up, and it's on just the out, just almost parallel with your sitting bones. Hmm? So there's a nice space here. Right, palms just in space. You reach your right hand forwards towards your toes, and then we wrap it around. We wrap the left arm to the back as well. Trying to square off the shoulders. You might need a bell here. Square off the shoulders. Relax the neck. Maybe look towards the big toe. Or maybe if you're far down, you look towards the third eye. This right sitting bone will come off the ground a little bit. That's totally fine. And the closer you can get with your armpit to the shin, to the knee on the right knee, the deeper the spine will be. Let's stay for five. Four. Three. Kind of go forwards and down. This is a forward fold. Three. If you don't go so far, that's okay. Two. One. Inhale, come up, release. Both feet out, reset. And left foot comes in. Got a palms distance apart. More or less in line with the sitting bone. Left arm reaches towards your right toes. And swing it around as far as you can. Left right arm swings back. Try and hold the fingers. Maybe we hold the belt. Maybe we grab the wrists. Straighten up the shoulders and then see can you fold. Maybe you don't fold and that's fine. Five, intention is there. Four, visualize yourself doing it. And eventually it's gonna show up on the mat. Three, two, lifelong practice, Ashtanga. One, release the spine, inhale, coming up. Option for vinyasa, option for seeing can cow, option for the full vinyasa if you're of the blocks. We cross the ankles. We press and lift and shoot it back. Lifting up, inhale. Exhale back. Make your way to seated. Jumping forwards. Jumping through. One more, we're gonna go for a twist, and then we're gonna go for some back bend. So, right knee comes in, right hand behind you. Left hand comes up, inhale, exhale, we twist and hook. See, can you hook? Maybe we stay here. Maybe we reach that right hand, left hand even, out and around. Fine, just catch the fingers, use the belt, or just Hook the elbow. Look back towards your right elbow, right shoulder even. 
Stay for five. Four. You might find that breathing a little more tricky here. That's okay. Three. We'll not run out of breath. Two. Stay with it. Keep lifting up to the crown of the head. One. Release. Back to the center. Release your right foot. Reset for a moment, then left foot comes in. This time there's no gap. Your foot is beside the right thigh. Left hand behind. Right hand up. Lift, inhale, and twist. Maybe we hook. Maybe the right arm reaches out and back, looking for the bind. Look backwards to the back of the mat. Five. Four, three, two, one. Release, come to the center. And everybody, vinyasa, hug the knees in. Shift the weight forward, push the hands, lift the hips. Step it back, high plank, chaturanga, upward dog, downward facing dog. And everybody coming back to high plank. Lowering it all the way down. All the way down onto our mats. Okay, locust pose. Super therapeutic pose for our back. Feet are together or they can be hip width apart. Hip width apart is a bit easier. It's a tricky old pose. So we're bringing our arms along our sides. Our fingertips are on the mat. Sorry, our fingernails are on the mat. And we're gonna lift up the chest, lift up the feet. And hold. Think as long as we can. Five. Try to lift the thighs off the mat. Four. If it's easy, bring the toes together. The big toes. Two. One. Bring the hands under the shoulders. We're trying to lift up the chest a little more and go forward. So it's like a pushy movement with our hands so that our chest pulls forwards. Lengthen. Five. Elbows in. Four, keep lifting, keep trying. Three, keep breathing. Two, one, lower it back down to our mat. Shake the hips right to left, right to left, little wiggle. And look where you're going, upward facing dog. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, back to our high plank. Lower it down. Maybe the drop knees drop first. All good. All the way down. We're gonna do our up our bow pose. So bend your knees. Catch your feet. Maybe you catch one at a time. All is good. Now either again, maybe the toes, the big toes, stay touching. Maybe they are hip width apart, and we're gonna lift up, lift up on this bow. Yes, lift it up. Five. Hands push in at the feet. Four, feet pull into the hands. Three, keep lifting, keep trying. Two, maybe the tip of your nose or you can look up to the ceiling. One, lower back down. Hands under shoulders, look where you're going. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna go for one more. It's the rolling one. I like this one. I hope you like this one. Inhale, back to your high plank. Exhale, lower it down. Bend the knees, catch your feet. Check you have a little bit of space either side of your mat. If you don't have much space, shuffle yourself to one side or the other. Remember, you'll have to shuffle back in a moment as well. Lift the back that mat. Okay, inhale, we lift, and on our exhale, we roll to the right, roll over, try and lift the whole chest off the mat, try and keep the feet in that position, push the feet into the hands, don't let your head dump on the floor, try and keep it in line, one lung length the spine, another three, breaths, two, and back to the center, lift it up. We're gonna roll the other way, roll to the left. Keep the shape, 
Nice stretch on the inner shoulder. Five. Keep pushing. Four. I don't have quite enough space for this. Three. Two. One. Roll back to the center. Lift it. Ah. Ah. All right. Back down. Thighs might be burning. It's okay. Lower the hands under the shoulders. Look where you're going. Inhale. Upper dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're coming down to sit on the mat. Bring the feet, soles of the feet together. Body connects in the flap our wings. The first part of our back bend's done. We've got a little way to go. We'll have our traditional primary series back bends. Those ones are actually from the intermediate series. It's okay. Hold our big toes or the head sides of the feet. Roll the shoulders back, lengthen, get long. Exhale, we're gonna fold forward. See how this feels on your inner thighs, on the lower back, go as far forward as you can go. No, we're not trying to get to the feet. We're trying to get way beyond the feet. Whoa, going so far forwards. So far forwards, the chest, swimming at the feet. And not the head. Ooh. When you're there, you stay for another three. Long, deep breaths in. Long, deep breaths out. Two. One. Bring back up, nice and slow. We're gonna go for Baddha Konasana B. You might wanna move your feet slightly further out. You might not. We're gonna bring the crown of the head down towards the feet this time, so it's a rounding action. So going straight. You round. So inhale to prepare. Exhale, you come down. Kind of bring the feet, head crown of the head to your outturned little feet. Open the feet like a little book. You're going to read it for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come up. Cross the knees, cross the feet, option for vinyasa, option for seated cat and cow. Whichever your option, make sure your spine is moving. And come back to seated whenever you're ready. Our feet are going to open out wide. So we can reach the kanasana or wide forward fold. So, we're going to start walking, 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 walking. Maybe we get to here. Or we keep walking, walking down and down. Maybe we touch the big toes. Maybe the outside of the feet. And I tilt the hips slightly forwards. Find the sweet spot. When you get to where you're going, whatever that is for you today, we stay for five. Four. Three, two, one. Slowly coming up, 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 up. Bend your knees. Take your right toe. Take your left toe. Inside of the legs would be better. Straighten your right leg. Straighten your left leg. Look up to the sky. Hold. This is easy for you. Point your toes. Five, four, three. We're going to roll back in a minute. Two, one. Rolling either just onto the back or all the way onto the shoulders. Check there's nothing behind you. Maybe to the back. Maybe to the shoulders. I need a little further forward. So I can do it better. Staying for five. Gonna lift the sitting bones up, 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 up. If this feels anything bad on the neck, come back to just being on the back. You can bend the knees. If it was feeling too much in the hamstrings, you can reach, it's okay. Two. One, we're gonna roll back up where we came. Try to roll and balance. Use the core to lift yourself up. If it didn't work the first time, try it again. And lower the feet down. 
all the way back into our fold. Come back up, cross our ankles, seated to cat and cow, or vinyasa, one of the last ones we're gonna do today. So I'll have to you, it's your choice. What do you feel you still have juice for? And back to seated and lie down. Our traditional back bending time. We're gonna start off with our bridge pose. So our feet, ankles close to our butt, hip width apart. Shoulder blades rolling to get in towards each other. And we're inhaling, lifting up the hips. Exhaling, hips come down. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale down. We're gonna lift and hold. Inhale, lift it up. Options to support the hands and the hips or interlace the fingers. Press the arms into the mat. Stay for five. Four. A spiral. Squeeze the thighs in towards each other. Two. Oh, this feels like a very short kind of. Let's do it from three. Three. Two. Squeeze the glutes. Push them up. One. Coming down. Feet. Mat width apart and windscreen wiper, the knees one side, another side, one side, another side. Okay, options to go for this thing again, this bridge pose, or we go for our half wheel. We're going for our half wheel, we bring our hands by our ears, our fingertips pointing toward. They don't need to be glued to your head, but they're just beside them, yeah? Our feet are nice and in. And we're going to push up just onto the crown of the head. Yeah? If you feel like your neck doesn't like it, you come straight down. Mm. Okay, so on our inhale, we lift up onto the crown of the head. So inhale, push with the hands, push with the feet onto the crown of the head. Stay for five. Four, if your neck's feeling super strong, you can bring the arms crisscrossed onto your shoulders. Three. Two, where you keep supporting your hands by your head. One, a little lift, tuck your chin to your chest, come down. Feet hip with feet mat with apart, arms over your head, your windscreen wipe, one way, the other way, one way, and the other. All right, time to go for our wheel pose, our last back bend. So, feet come in. Hands are bent, elbows in, and we're gonna push all the way up. We wanna try and straighten up the, through the arms and try to lift the chest up as far as we can so you get this super, super, super stretch on the front body. But of course, the hips are pushing us up, the feet are pushing us up, so it's a lot of work going on as well. If you have blocks, you might wanna help use blocks for less stress on the wrists, and less open than, if you're less open in your shoulders, if you've got less shoulder mobility, that blocks will be a good thing for you. So, we're going with no blocks, we have our hands, our knees, our feet are pushing in, and we inhale, we push up, all the way up. Stay for five, can you? Four, three, two, one, come down. Give yourself a little break. You want to see how the blocks would go? Here's how the blocks would go. If you don't have blocks or you need blocks. Roof crew, there are blocks on your roof. I definitely left them there. If you need blocks, maybe for later or something. So the blocks go by our head, our hands on the, on the short side of the block near to our head. Those have this putting the blocks against the wall and then they don't move at all. And we inhale, we lift it up. And then it's just a bit better, especially those of us with less shoulder mobility. My shoulders are super open. This is not an issue for me, but they're not everyone. So that's nice. You stay for five breaths. And we come down. Easy. If you want to go for another variation, then we can come up. We walk our one foot into the center of the mat. Press down. Lift up the other foot. You can keep them where they were, but obviously this is harder. Or you can just walk it to the center and just lift up and down. Fun! You can start the legs. And then you can come down again. 
Everyone's finished playing, bring the soles of the feet together. And rest for a moment. You can move our wrists, it's quite tough on the wrists. Guiding the knees back together, hugging them into the chest. And we're gonna rock and roll back up to seated. I'm gonna take another forward fold here. So just like we did before, but this time we're gonna be a little less engaged. So reaching our arms up and kind of see how far we get. And then resting down here. And we're gonna stay here for five breaths. Four. Three. Two, one, releasing, coming back up, hugging your knees in, maybe scooting forward to the front of the mat, we go for the finishing sequence, rocking up and down the spine, maybe as many as five times before you come to your variation of shoulder stand. So your shoulder stand might be back on the mat and the feet up 90 degree angle. You're going to have a book or a block under your sacrum. You are here or maybe even a full shoulder stand. And lift the toes up towards the sky. Make it a straight line supporting our lower back with our hands and looking up towards the toes. Wherever you are, whichever variation, we stay for another seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lowering the feet down behind your head. So they're trying to meet the floor. And they might not, maybe they hang here, this angle. Or maybe they get all the way down to the mat. If you can touch the floor, we'll try and lift the hips up. Maybe we'll interlace the fingers if you feel stable to let go of your back. And press the arms into the mat, which as far as you can. And stay here for six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, support the lower back with the hands. Maybe lift one leg up at a time, back to the shoulder stand. And then planting the palms onto the mat behind you. These are your breaks so you don't come down super fast. Slowly, slowly lower down the back without lifting the neck or the shoulders, lower it down. Lower the feet down, coming into our fish pose. Slowly, slowly. Right hand under right leg, palm down. Left hand under the left. Press the elbows into the mat, lift up the chest, look towards your toes. And then lower the crown of the head down to the mat behind you. Try to keep this lift, this breath, this extension through the chest, opening the heart. And opening the throat. Let me stay for another long hold for a count of eight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, tuck your chin to your chest, and then lower the whole back to the mat, release the arms, reach them over the head, and then hook the knees into the body, rock it and maybe gently side to side first, and then up and down the spine, and back out to seated. Crossing your ankles or coming to half or full lotus if either of them is available for you. We go through 
our last two poses. I keep it a bit easy today. I'm gonna, I don't know, we'll, we'll do all three finishing poses. So we cross legs, half lotus, or full lotus. Hands behind your back, hold onto the elbows. We're gonna fold forward. So we're gonna help you to sit on a block for this point or a cushion. Sit on your block or your cushion. And when you're ready, start to fold forward, try to bring the chin, forehead to the block or to the mat or your books or your cushions, whatever your props you read. And we stay here for our count of 10. Slowing down the breath, nine. Long deep breaths in. Long deep breaths out, eight. Relaxing through the face, seven. Remembering our core lock, our banda. Remembering the breath, our ujjayi breath, five. Four. Three, two, one. Slowly coming up. You change your hands. You keep your feet where they are, or you can choose to switch the wrap. If your one foot was on top before, change it over. Fingers to Gyanam Mudra, our first finger and thumb touching, three fingers together. Straight arms. Tuck your chin to your chest ever so slightly. Pull the belly in and up. Breathe here with sound for 10. Nine, gaze the tip of the nose or the third eye. Eight. Seven. Six, One. You want to cross, uncross, and cross, we cross your feet again. Go for it. We go for our last pose, Utkuti. So with either blocks, books, or no blocks, we're going to try to lift up. Maybe we just lift up our butt. Maybe we just lift up the feet. Or we're trying to push and lift. We're curling through the back. We're not opening the chest. So we're curling it in. And push and lift for 10. Nine. Try and lift, try and push. Four. Even if you don't lift at all, keep trying. Three. Squeeze the core, knit it all together, and lift it up. Two. One. Lower it down. Super short, easy hold. We have our last vinyasa. Cross our ankles. High plank, lower it down, upward dog, downward dog, come to the top of our mat, step it forward, flat back, forward fold, reaching all the way up to the sky, and palms detach. Still the practice with one chant of Om. The O long, the Om short. We inhale to prepare. And how we reach your arms. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back. Lower down. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Step forward. Lie down. Shavasana. Take rest. Close the eyes, relax the face. Option to cover the eyes with a little blanket or a cloth to keep out the light. Focusing on the inhaling breath and on the exhaling breath. Breath coming in, breath going out. Breathing deeper inhalation and deeper exhalation into the nose, out through the mouth, bringing awareness back to the body, moving the fingers and the toes, the ankles and the wrists. When you're ready, stretch your arms up and over the head like waking up in the morning. Please sit down. Hug the knees into the chest. Giving yourselves a warm and compassionate hug full of love and kindness. Gratitude for the day, for the bodies that we have for the safe space that we're in. Making your way up to seated. Just as soon as you can. Whatever way feels right. Trying to keep our eyes closed for just a moment. Another moment before checking your phone. Checking the news. Sitting in peace, equanimity with the world, and everything will be okay. And 
your palms to touch the center of the heart. Gently bowing our head in thanks for practice, for all the teachers that we've had in all of our times, all the teachers who've passed down their practice and shared our knowledge. Thanks for coming. <laughs>